Congrats, Emma. This was a really interesting question, of course, especially given that developing nations, poorer nations, don't have visibility about what shots they're going to get. What have we learned about not only the side effects, but perhaps the efficacy of mixing them together? Yeah, well, I think there's a lot uh, of focus on this right now, particularly with the supply shortages that we're seeing uh, globally, but particularly in developing nations. How can we more effectively roll out vaccines and mixing them, uh, switching around the way that is something that scientists are very much looking into? Now, in this study, they looked at uh, mixing the highly effective, so at a 90% efficacy rate, uh, Pfizer vaccine with the AstraZeneca one, uh, which is a viral vector, so, so not using that mRNA technology that Pfizer does uh, and is therefore less effective. So mixing those two together. And they did find that there were side effects. Uh, they don't sound hugely unusual, fatigue and uh, headaches uh, from this. Um, as they look into what are the best ways uh, of mixing these shots around. Emma, we spoke to Dr. Michael Osterholm, who's of course is on uh, Biden's COVID-19 advisory committee, and he spoke about how key it is to get these young people vaccinated, particularly to combat these more infectious variants, right? How important is it that the Pfizer shot is now approved for use for these young teenagers? I think that's a huge landmark move uh, and really does show how the U.S. Uh, has moved uh, so far ahead when it comes to vaccination, really taken the ball and run with it. Uh, they're the only uh, place, really, or only really big economy that is going to be doing this. Uh, you're not seeing this in China, where only people over 18 are allowed to be vaccinated, for example. Uh, so this could be a really huge step uh, to uh, really reopening the U.S. Uh, and normalising things for a generation who have been quite affected with school closures uh, and the like uh, by this pandemic. Uh, and it was a unanimous decision there from the CDC, so uh, one that parents can probably take a little bit of sal from.